welcome back everyone my name is sagar and today in this video we are going to learn how we can implement multilingual support for our android application so there are two ways how we can implement it either by our in-app language speaker or by our system settings so in api level 33 that means android 13 and above there is also a per app language preference in android settings so let me show you what will be the output so this is our dummy application and currently our language is english from this drop down we can just select any language and it will be implemented next language is gujarati and there is also arabic language which is a rtl language that means right to left so this is our in-app language speaker and now let me show you where is the settings for per app language preferences you can go to device settings you can scroll down to system language and app languages so here we have the list of all applications which support multi-language and here is our application and as you can also see this is also in sync with our in-app language speaker which is currently arabic so suppose i am now converting it to hindi and now let me open my application so my application language is also now translated to hindi so this will be the final output of this video and if you are expecting the same then let's get started so this is my initial code that you can simply get by creating a new project and selecting this empty activity so what you can see here is we are using this hard-coded string value so this is the main key point we don't have to use this hard-coded string value we have to replace them with our string resource file so that is present in app resource in values there you can see string.xml so this is the file where we will be keeping our all the string resources that we have to translate to another languages suppose there is a string that i am naming subscribe and the value of this resource will be subscribe to sagar malhotra so now i can directly access this using string resource so there is this compose method and here i can directly pass the id r dot string dot subscribe so this will work exactly same as writing this thing but how we can translate this particular string to multiple languages so for that we need multiple strings dot xml file as i said this file is only for our default language which is english so we can create multiple strings.xml file for our different languages we can see here value resource file we can name it as strings and it is here local and suppose i want to select here hindi so hindi code will be hi there you can see hindi and i will press on ok there you can see there are two strings file now one is for our default and one you can see we are having hi inside of our parentheses so that means when our application language is set to hindi so we will refer to all string resources from this file only and now we can just copy this thing and put it here so now i have to translate this thing to hindi so for that either i can use google translation or any plugins from android studio so i already have downloaded one extension so i will right click and there you can see translate to other languages so from here i will select hindi and press ok and now you can see both of these string files are translated to hindi I am not saying all this will be accurate translation but uh, still let me give you the name. There you can see the plugin name is android localize. So now let me just add support for more languages and more string files. So there you can see now I have four strings.xml file. One is for our default, one is for Arabic, one is for Gujarati and next is for Hindi. But now how I can translate our application from one language to another. So for that let me just quickly come up with some dummy UI. So we are having this simple UI, a text value and then this drop down menu where we are having our four languages english hindi gujarati and arabic but when i am clicking on something so it is doing nothing let me explain the code so here in our greetings function we are having a map and that is because our each language will have some specific code like en for english hi for hindi gu for gujarati and ar for arabic and then this capital ae means region which is in this case uae and after all these dummy values here is the on click so right now on clicking on any value we are just closing our drop down menu but here we also have to set the application language once we click on hindi so hindi language will be set to our whole application so for that we have to use app compat delegate dot set set uh, there you can see set application locale and here if you see we have to pass the local list compat and in this first method we can pass our language which is from this local list this value so we are using this key to get the value either it is en hi gu whatever language we are clicking on so now what these lines will do they will tell our operating system okay the selected language for this application has changed and now we have to use some different strings.xml if we are passing hi that means hindi in this method then we are going to use this strings.xml file 
so these lines now should do our work let me just test so application is there now let me select hindi but uh, nothing is happening here and that is because this method is forward and backward compatible and this will not work with this component activity here we have to use app compat activity only then the effect of this method will work otherwise nothing will happen so now let us run again so application is installed now and it has crashed so let us check the log cat you can see it is unable to start our activity and that is because if we are using this app combat activity as our parent then we also have to change our theme for this particular activity so let us go to the themes.xml and here currently we are using this so let us use app combat so now this theme will be applied to our main activity and now it should work let's give it a try hindi and now it is translated to hindi but you can see something also happened here not this thing again so our activity is recreating here our application is not recreating you can simply change this behavior by adding one line so inside of our activity we will add configuration because changing locale of our application is also a configuration change same as rotating our device so here we have to add locale and also layout direction so what this will do this will tell our activity okay when this locale and layout direction configuration changes there we don't have to show the default behavior of an activity that means recreating so by adding this line simply our activity will not recreate let us just try so now the activity is not recreating as you can see so now in app language picker is implemented now let us move to the settings and see Okay, now you can see our application is not present here because we are not doing anything extra to tell our operating system that this application support multiple languages. So, so for that we have to make changes in our Android manifest file to interact with our operating system. So here inside our application tag we have to define our local config that means our languages that we support. And for that I have created one XML file which is present in resources XML folder and there you can see local underscore config. And here I am defining four languages English, Gujarati, Hindi, and Arabic. So now our operating system will get updated that these four languages are supported by our application. Now let us give it a try. Let's go to the settings. And there you can see our application is present here. And supported languages are English, Arabic, Hindi, and Gujarati. So let's select Hindi. And let us go to the application. And now you can see it is translated to Hindi. Let's try to do it again. Now I am selecting Gujarati. Let's go to the settings. And there you can see it is showing here Gujarati as selected language. But there is one thing remaining here. If we have to support Android 12 or lower devices, then we also have to add something here. Inside, inside our manifest, add these lines. So what this will do, this will store our application locale preferences in our API level 32 and below. So either you can use the data store or shared preferences to store your local preferences. But this is the easy and recommended way for Android 12 and below. So I hope you learned something new in this video. If yes, then make sure to subscribe to this channel.